Okay, another thing that I could mention, and I guess that I can make this a part of a set of um, Danny Phantom themed videos, is that I'm really interested about the concept of the ghost zone. It seems to be like it's a plane of existence. And it doesn't seem to occupy the same, it doesn't occupy the same space that our world is. It's a part of it. Like, you can't call it an alternate reality and therefore we occupy the same physical space, it's just we're on different vibrational frequencies, or on different planes, different levels. Not all existing at once. The ghost zone is actually part of our universe. It just seems to be some strange cosmic anomaly where a pocket dimension has been created. The worst thing is there are portals to the ghost zone all over our entire universe, not just on Earth. Which kind of explains some of the ghosts that are in the ghost zone. The fact that they don't look like they're derived from animals. Maybe they were alien ghosts. The other thing that's interesting is that it seems that in the ghost zone, like for example in the episode where they had the the prince guy who could turn to a dragon and his sister was the that maiden who could turn to a dragon from like like the third, fourth episode, really early in the series. And there there was a strange occurrence. It wasn't a strange occurrence, it was a spell that made time stand still. So time there never changed. That place was originally created back in medieval times. Which makes me wonder, places in the ghost zone, how do they manifest? What happened to this place? In or better yet, no, here's what happened. Um I am thinking that places in the ghost zone are kind of like um, um, time, when you consider it with the with the um, Deno Deno um, chronological philosophy, which is basically that time is upheld by memory and consciousness. So places in the ghost ghost world, actual locations, were um, manifest themselves out of consciousness of specific people's memories which also makes me think i wonder if if you don't become a ghost your memory contributes to the ghost zone because it seems to just like it's falling from something i haven't seen anything in the ghost zone that particularly defies the laws of physics besides the fact that some places will have gravity and Otherwise, if you're floating around in the ghost zone, it doesn't. Which is not that bad, because again, that could just be a matter of perception. The fact that you're standing on something means you're standing on something, so it's going to have gravity. And you can't just, like, take off and then hover there. At the same time, there's an atmosphere through all of the ghost zone, because a regular human can just float around. Danny can't breathe in space, even though he's a ghost. He still needs air. So, you know, he can float around in there without any kind of protection or any such air holding things. Respiratory devices, there you go, that's a good one. But it's still an interesting concept. And um, what's the best part about it is that it's open to so much speculation. Yeah, it's open to... A lot of diverse opinions about it how it would operate physically where is the space that it takes up also yeah again with that it seems that within the ghost zone different times exist at once as if the ghost zone is omnipresent for example even though the ghost zone is supposed to be moving alongside our earth they have more futuristic technology than even the Fentons have, or even that Vlad Masters has, or even the guys in white. They just have these incredible technological advances, and then again, they do have different societies. 
So it's kind of explained that not all of these societies are again from Earth. Um, it seems that you can only come to the conclusion that some societies were created in the ghost zone, were born out of the ghost zone. How? Apparently, interestingly enough, um, the ghost zone, despite being full of dead people, is also full of organic materials. Otherwise, life wouldn't have been able to arise by itself in the ghost zone. Or maybe it's just that because there's so many ghosts, an, an atmosphere of potential is created where with lack of life but with the stuff of life and the fact that there was once life it aids to a process that generates new life like the the inside of the ghost zone is a remnants of an exploded star or something like that 